Yo, what is up, squad? It's your boy, Pino E here, and I'm back! Sorry about the absence. I was sick, then I had a cough. But yo, today we have a bunch of stuff to talk about, so subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that like button, because that's the squad way, and let's go. My voice is still a little messed up, so bear with me, but let's start with Adidas and just one item for the three stripes, and it's a look at the Adidas NMD R2 Triple Black. There's no date for these just yet, but you know how this goes. Black upper, black stripes, black EVA inserts, black boost, and a black outsole. Don't pair, I like them. Stay tuned for a release date. Whoa, if you're a fan of the three stripes, it's official. Adidas has officially jumped over the Jumpman to take the number two sneaker brand spot in the United States. I didn't see this coming so quickly, but congrats to what Adidas has done. That's a huge jump. Still a lot of work for them to do if they want to pass Nike, but damn, congrats. So don't even try arguing with me in the comments because Hova is the greatest of all time. He's the GOAT, which is why I have to get this pair of Rockefeller Air Force Ones. The pair was released 13 years ago in a triple white colorway with the Rockefeller Records logo stitched on the heel. And just like the original pair, these will be retroing this year in November during ComplexCon. If anyone's going, hook your boy up. I need these for the glass case of my collection. Over to Jordan Brand and let's start off with fly leather. Now, when Nike put out the news release earlier today, I was all like, motherfucker, what's a fly leather? We know fly weave, we know fly wire, but the fuck you talking about fly leather? Well, according to Nike, it's sustainable and premium, durable but light, and it's engineered for performance. Nike fly leather is a new super material made with at least 50% recycled natural leather fiber and water power and it has the potential to be as game-changing as Nike Flyknit. Here's how it's made. During a typical leather manufacturing process, up to 30% of a cow's hide is discarded and it often ends up in a landfill. To reduce the waste, Nike gathers the discarded leather scrap from the floor of tanneries and turns them into fibers. Then those recycled leather fibers are combined with synthetic fibers and a fabric infrastructure via hydro process with a force that's so strong it fuses everything into one material. The material then goes through a finishing process which can include things like pigmentation and it's completed by being put on a roll to be cut. As such, the Nike Fly Leather Tennis Classic is available to purchase today on Nike.com and to complement the release we have the Fly Leather Collection. The collection includes the Air Force One, Air Max 90, Tennis Classic, Cortez and the Air Jordan One with 50 pairs of each being created and inspired by the Nike Air Safari. Each pair features metallic gold lace tips, dubrays and a digitally printed rose gold swoosh and I have no idea what the hell that means but hey it's digitally printed so okay. To win one of the 50 pairs, hit the link in my bio you do have to be from the United States and good luck. And now let's talk about the Air Jordan Holiday Collection that was officially unveiled by Jordan Brand earlier today. This isn't every pair that's releasing, but it is what was unveiled today. Let's start with the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Flyknit Royal. I don't like these. I didn't like the bread, but apparently the feedback on the breads has been good and these are comfy. Either way, I'm good to pass, but if you need these, they drop on October 7th for $180. Sticking with the ones, we have the official images of the Air Jordan 1 Wii. The pair comes constructed of a soft suede upper and features a golden harvest and elemental gold color blocking. Now, this piece has nothing to do with the ones, but for those of you who watched my whole video, I'm going to reward you. You know the all green and orange Gatorade 6s we've seen, right? Those are dropping this year, as well as the ones with the white, orange, and green carmine color blocking. Back to these, they drop November 16th for $160. We've seen a bunch of leaks over the last few months of the Air Jordan 6 suite and today they also got confirmed. Similar to the ones, the pair comes in a winter inspired golden harvest elemental gold colorway with the sail accenting hitting the midsole and the Jumpman branding on the neoprene tongue. If the 6s are on your pickup list then mark November 22nd on your calendar because that's when they're going to drop for $190. And finishing off the Wii collection, we have the Air Jordan 13 Wii. My opinion, they're okay, but Jordan Brand should have gone with the retro of the original white and Wii colorway. Just like the ones in the 6s, the colorway for this pair is Golden Harvest and Elemental Gold, and the pair is constructed with the same premium suede. I'm not really feeling this pair, but you're allowed to disagree with me, and if you do, then you could expect this pair to drop sometime in November for $190. For the OG squad, you know I called all these shoes back in December and January, so let's all pat ourselves on the back for this old news. But next up, and continuing with the 20th anniversary of the Air Jordan 13, we have the Altitude 13. The Black Altitude 13 is a style that reached legendary status off the court almost immediately after its 2005 debut. Now the colorway returns this season in its truest form, complete with an OG leather upper. This pair right here is dope, and it drops on November 24th for $190. Next up, we have the official images 
purchase of the Air Jordan 12 Dark Grey. The Air Jordan 12 was cemented in history on the court in 1997, and since then the silhouette has taken on new life as an off-the-court style. The Dark Grey colorway swaps the leather upper for suede and nods to the original taxi colorway by featuring gold lace eyelets. Now what they could have done is just drop the taxis and made everyone happy, but I do like these, it's a clean look, and this pair is available November 18th for $100. $190. And last but not least, we have the Air Jordan 12 Bordeaux. Taking inspiration from Bordeaux, France's rich winemaking tradition, this tone became an instant hit as an accent color back in 1991. The 12 now gets its second Bordeaux version, which features a fully flooded smooth suede upper. Okay, again, I like these, the Bordeaux color is dope, but why do we need this pair when they could have made the PSNY a little more widely available? I'm not saying that because I'm a hype beast. Well, maybe I am a little bit of a hype beast, but the suede on the PSNY can't be compared to this. But what do I know? Look for these October 14th with the retail price of $190. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.